my boys and girls, it's Mrs. Quintilian, and I am here to do um, lesson 6.10. This is in place of a Zoom today. You are going to find this page, 445, 445. You can pause the video if you don't have your book already in front of you and go get it. We're going to read a question and then we're going to draw or write to solve the problem, okay? Here's the problem. It says, Mr. Sanchez made 403 cookies. So I'm gonna write my important details down, 403 cookies. Then he sold, so if he sold them, we know he doesn't have them anymore, he sold 159 cookies. And then it says, how many cookies does he have now? He started with 403, he sold 159. If he does not have them anymore, we know that that is subtraction. So I'm going to write a subtraction problem. He starts with 403, we're taking away 159, the amount that he sold. And then we're going to do our subtraction problem. We're gonna look at our ones place. Always start at the ones place. Three is less than nine. So we need to go next door, but uh-oh, look what we have next door, our zero. So that means we have to hop over two doors. We're going to cross out the four. We're gonna take 100 away and we're left with 300. When we go to the zero, we're going to end up giving 110 here, or 100 really, and we're gonna have the zero because that's what comes up. But now we need it for this place. We need it for the ones place. So this is where we're going to regroup one more time and we're going to have one less. 10 minus one is nine. So this is where we're regrouping and putting a nine. This does get a little complicated for some of us. Now our three, we can give one 10 here and our three ones move up. So now we have 13 take away nine. If you need to draw a picture, then you draw a picture. 13 minus nine. I could know that I take three away and I get back to 10, take one more away, and that is four. So I took away four, okay? Nine, take away five. If I count up or count back, that's four also. And three, take away one, is two. So Mr. Sanchez has 200 44 cookies left. If you're not sure about that, you can kind of talk it through or listen to it again, but we're gonna go ahead and do the next problem. So I'm gonna erase this, and then we're gonna go on to the next page. And there are just a few questions on our next page that we can do together. So we're going to go to the very next page and that is 446, okay? So on page 446, this is the steps that we are going to do when there is a zero in our tens place. It can get kind of tricky, so pay attention. Slow and steady is how we are gonna do it. So it says, Ms. Dean has a book with 504 pages. She has read 100, so she read 178 pages so far. How many more pages are there still to read? They already did the think bubble, they already did it. We start with 504, we're taking away 178. 
and they're showing us the steps. So let's look at step one. Step one, are there, there are not enough ones to subtract from. This four is less than eight. So that means we need to go next door. So our zero is the problem, isn't it? One second, my pen is really sensitive today. So we can't get anything from our 10, so we're gonna go next to our five, and that becomes a four. Then we can give that to our zero, and that becomes a 10. Then go on to step two. Next, regroup 10 tens and four ones as nine tens. So this is where it gets tricky. This 10, now becomes a nine. So we can give that one ten to our four ones. So now we can subtract and we have 14 take away eight equals six. Okay? And nine take away seven equals two. 4 take away 1 equals 3. This can be our trickiest part. And really, boys and girls, this is like the trickiest part of the subtraction that we do. Okay? Once you've mastered this, you guys are going to be amazing mathematicians. Let's try the problems down below. We're going to do these. If we still have questions on them, we will talk about those next week, okay? All right, let's go to the first one. Eight is smaller than nine, so we need to go next door, but our tens place has a zero, so that means we go to our hundreds place. Three becomes two, and zero is where we're going to give one hundred plus our zero, so now we have enough to subtract, right? And now we still need to regroup for our ones place. So that's when we cross out that 10 and take one away again, and that becomes a nine, and the eight becomes 18. This is tricky, I know, but it's kind of fun once you get the hang of it. 18, take away 9. Once again, if you need to pause, go ahead and pause, draw a picture. 18, take 9 away, is 9. 9, take 5 away, is 4. 2, take away 2, we know is nothing, so we don't need anything there. Okay, let's go on to number two. Number two, let's look at it. I don't see any zeros, so I know that I'm not going to have to do that really crazy math, but I'm still going to need to do regrouping twice. Okay, maybe. Let's look. Five is less than eight, so I know I can go next door, and my five tens becomes four. Then I can regroup. My five becomes 15. 15, take away eight, I can do. If I need to draw a picture, do a quick picture. 15, take away eight is seven. Four, take away three, guess what? I don't need to regroup. Four, take away three is one. So no double regrouping here, that's good. Seven, take away four, count back or count up, and that is three. So this one was the easiest so far, wasn't it? It's kind of like our normal subtraction. Let's do one more together, and then you're going to be on your own, but there is another short video that you can watch for the problem-solving parts. Okay, let's look at our ones place. In our ones place, we have one over five. I know that five is more than one, so I need to regroup, but my tens place has a zero. So that means I must go to 
my 800 and make it a 700. Take one away, right? Then I'm going to give one to my zero so it can become 10. Cross that out just so it doesn't get confusing. But I still need to regroup from my tens to my ones place. So I know I need to go one less than 10, which is nine, and nine is enough. Now I can do this over here, give my one 10 and one one, bring it up. And now I have 11, take away five. Now I'm ready to do my subtraction. Always start in your ones place. 11, take five away, six. Nine, take seven away, two. And seven, take away three, is four. Okay? Boys and girls, do your best. Follow the steps up top. Look back at the pink box. You can listen to this video again. Take your time on this one. The biggest problem is rushing and doing too much at once. You need to take your time. Slow and steady is the only way to go. Good luck. Take your time, friends. Talk to you later.